today i am going to discuss solution of linear algebraic equation and also i'll discuss rank of matrix now first what is linear equation a linear equation is a mathematical equation that represent that represents a straight line when graphed on a coordinate plane it is an algebraic equation in which highest power of the variable is 1 suppose that linear equation is like a y is equal to mx plus c now what will be the power of x here that power is 1 so that actually represent as a straight line equation now what are the source of linear equation in chemical engineering one source is material and energy balance from the material and energy balance we can get linear equation another source is reaction kinetics when we do something uh, when we study reaction kinetics and when we do modeling we can get linear equation and also uh, we can also get linear equation from phase equilibrium study in thermodynamics also we can get i mean from the phase equilibrium we can get some linear equation and we can solve that and we'll get some variables of uh, we can get thermodynamics variable next is uh, what are the linear algebraic equation now when we dealing with n variables when we dealing with n variables n variables and n equation it is known as a system of linear equation the general format of system of linear equation is like that a11 x1 plus a12 x2 dot 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 a1 in nn plus b1 so here m is nothing but equal to n so a m1 is equal to x1 plus a m2 x2 plus dot dot uh, plus a m n plus x n is equal to b m so here this is one equation two equation dot dot a m equation or n equation and x1 x2 n x n all are the variable so in this system each equation consists n variable like x1 x2 x3 2 x n multiplied by corresponding coefficient so a11 a12 all are the coefficient a11 a21 a3 1 dot dot a m n all are the coefficient and sum up to a constant variable in the right hand side that is b1 b2 and b3 2 2 2 bn so these actually call constant vector or constant matrix now our goal is to find a solution where all n equation are satisfied simultaneously the solution would involve determining the value of the variable x1 x2 x3 xn that makes all equation true ultimate aim from this we will get first we will get the equation and we have to solve this all this algebraic equation we will get all the variable values and that will make all equation true now what are the uh, what is the matrix format of the system of linear equation so first we have to write coefficient matrix and this is variable and this is constant matrix now we can write a is a coefficient matrix is like a1 a2 to a1 3 to dot dot a1 n so this actually coefficient matrix this is the variable and this is a constant matrix now what are the condition for getting solution of linear algebraic equation there are very uh, there are several conditions are there uh, from uh, if that condition are satisfied so we can get the solution now several condition must be satisfied to obtain solution of for for a system of n linear equation with n variables this condition ensure that the system is not inconsistent and has unique solution if the condition are not satisfied that system will be a inconsistent and it doesn't have any solution unique solution here are some necessary conditions so first is non-singularity so the coefficient matrix of the system must be non-singular which means it must have a non-zero determinants means a is a coefficient matrix so that determinant not equal to zero then only we can get solution if the determinant of the coefficient matrix is zero the system is singular and it either has no solution or infinite infinitely many solution next condition is that consistency consistency what is that the system must be consistent meaning that exists at least one solution satisfied all equation in consistent system have no solution third one rank and full rank rank that is very important i'll discuss later how to calculate rank i'll give one example and i'll show you how to calculate rank 
द रैंक ऑफ द कोविशन मैट्रिक मस्ट बी इक्वल टू द रैंक ऑफ ऑगमेंटेड मैट्रिक वॉट इज ऑगमेंटेड मैट्रिक्स इंक्लूडिंग द कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म्स आई सो यू वॉट इज ऑगमेंटेड मैट्रिक्स इफ द रैंक्स आर नॉट इक्वल द सिस्टम इज इनकॉन्सिस्टेंट एंड हैज नो सोल्यूशन सिस्टम इज सेट टू हैव फुल रैंक इफ द रैंक इज इक्वल टू द नंबर ऑफ वेरिएबल्स नेक्स्ट कंडीशन इज लिनियर इंडिपेंडेंस द रो और कॉलम्स ऑफ द क्वेश्चन मैट्रिक्स मस्ट बी लिनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट इफ दे आर लिनियरली डिपेंडेंट इट इम्प्लाइज दैट वन और मोर इक्वेशन आर रिडेंडेंट रिजल्टिंग इन आई दर इनफाइनाइटली मेनी सोल्यूशन और एन इनकॉन्सिस्टेंट सिस्टम इफ दिस कंडीशन आर मीट द सिस्टम ऑफ एन लिनियर इक्वेशन विथ एन वेरिएबल हैज यूनिक सोल्यूशन अगेन आई गिव सम कंडीशन ब्रीफली इन द कॉन्सिक्वेंट स्लाइड नाउ फर्स्ट वी मस्ट नो वॉट इज ऑगमेंटेड मैट्रिक्स इन ए सिस्टम एम लिनियर एलजी इक्वेशन कॉन्सिट एन वेरिएबल ओके सो हेयर इवेन एन लिनियर इक्वेशन एन लिनियर एलजी इक्वेशन विथ एन वेरिएबल सो वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट अच्छी एक्स इज इक्वल टू बी सो ए इज इ कॉपिशन मैट्रिक्स एक्स इज वेरिएबल बी इज कॉन्स्टेंट भेक्टर कॉन्स्टेंट मैट्रिक्स कॉन्स्टेंट मैट्रिक्स सो एग ऑगमेंटेड मैट्रिक्स Og A is formed is given by below. So here this is these are these are the Cartesian matrix along with we are putting that constant matrix. So total together is called augmented matrix. Now condition for getting solution of linear equation. So this slide is very important. Okay, sometimes some question is actually coming in the gate exam. So what are the condition for getting solution? Okay, now here M. is number of remember m is number of linear algebraic equation n is so m is now number of linear algebraic equation means how many algebraic equation are there so that is represented by m n is number of unknown variable how many unknown variable like x1 to xn so how many number of variables are there so that is represented as n and r r is a rank of both coefficient matrix as well as augmented matrix right so here we have to find out rank of matrix coefficient matrix rank of a as well as rank of a uh, comma b or a uh, this b so this is this is augmented matrix if the rank a less than rank of augmented matrix this is augmented matrix or a then system is inconsistent okay now these are very important condition for getting solution of linear equation now when m is equal to n means number of algebraic equation is equal to number of variables if rank is equal to n or less than n if rank is equal to number of variable then we will get unique solution if rank less than number of variable so infinite number of solution now there is another condition if number of equation less than number of variable and rank also less than equal to n so then we will get infinite number of solution another condition if that number of equation is greater than number of variables and rank is also less than number of equation then when r is equal to n we will get unique solution when r less than n we will get infinite number of solution this condition this this slide is very important for getting solution of linear equation now i'll show you how to calculate rank of a matrix first what is rank of a matrix the rank of a matrix is maximum number of linearly independent rows or column in the matrix now how we calculate rank of a matrix now consider here i am taking 3 by 3 matrix so 3 cross 3 matrix okay so first step we have to calculate determinant of a if a uh, determinant of a is zero then what will happen so if determinant is non zero our target is first determinant if the determinant is non zero but here since that determinant of a is zero so rank will be less than 3 because order is 3 by 3 so maximum rank will be 3 as determinant is 0 so rank will be less than 3 now steps 2 now if rank is less than 3 now what will be the rank 
then we have to take any two by two matrix so these are the um, that a matrix so you can take any two by two matrix if that two by two matrix determinant is non-zero then we can directly say the rank is two if again the determinant matrix is zero determinant so determinant of the matrix is zero so we can say the rank will be less than two or rank will be one now is there any possibility to get zero rank matrix yes a zero rank matrix is matrix where all elements are zero in the other words it is a matrix of all zeros here is an example of zero rank matrix so a zero 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 so all if all elements are zero then we will get zero rank matrix now here i am giving one example check the system of linear equation here um, one system of linear equations are there whether a solution exists or not so how do you get that so here we are first write a coefficient matrix so that is this 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 is first equation 2x plus 3y minus z is equal to 5 equation 2 4x minus y plus 2z is equal to 7 equation 3x plus 2y my plus 3z is equal to minus 1 so first we have to write coefficient matrix 2 3 minus 1 4 minus 1 2 1 2 3 then b constant matrix so 5 7 minus 1 and x are the unknown variables now first we have to create augmented matrix and then we have to check I mean, then check the rank of a matrix and augmented matrix now after checking that then we can conclude whether solution is exist or not first uh, we have to consider augmented matrix that is 3 by 4 okay so here rank will be that number of rows and column independent right so now here that number of rows three are actually independent so maximum rank will be three now first here we have to calculate that uh, determinant of a so here uh, i'm already done that so determinant of a is minus 53 that is not equal to zero so we can say the rank of a matrix is three and here that a is a subset of that augmented matrix a is subset of augmented matrix so here that determinant of a is not equal to zero so now we can say rank of matrix a is equal to rank of augmented matrix is equal to three now here uh, we are having that m equation so that here we are taking three equation so m is here three number of variable is also three and rank we also get that three so now rank is three number of equation is three number of variable is three so m is equal to n is equal to r so a unique solution is exist so similarly we can uh, do any number of equation first we have to calculate rank of the a matrix coefficient matrix then we have to calculate the rank of augmented matrix if that rank of coefficient matrix is equal to rank of augmented matrix is equal to that number of equation and that is equal to number of variable then we will get a unique solution now what are the methods for solving system of linear equation there are two kind of method one is direct method another is called indirect method in direct method uh, different methods are there like Gauss elimination method LU decomposition inversion method or Gauss Jordan method Kamarsul method or indirect method Gauss Jacobi method Gauss serial method any other methods are there but in BTEC level these are very important if we know that is that is actually sufficient so for advanced level many other things are there we can do that okay so that's it for today's class uh, next I'll show you how to solve how to get solution by using Gauss elimination as well as back substitution of the matrix uh, to get the system of uh, the solution of uh, linear equation that's it thank you uh, we'll see you again